Okay, we're going to talk about how to make a stir plate for about $15. I got a fan for $3 and I got a power supply for $3. So there's six right there. The fan came with this uh, nice extra plug, which I'm going to utilize, and this power supply, which is 12 volts DC, 12 volts direct current, and the fan is also 12 volts. I'm going to cut this plug off. The, you have to get these things with the ears out of these little plastic connectors. So I do that with a, um, a tiny little screwdriver. Slide it in there next to the, uh, the connector and try to bend those ears inward so that the, things, so that the uh, connectors will come out. Um, so I'm trying to show you here that uh, there's an ear in there that you need to sort of push. And we'll, um, we'll use that little screwdriver, uh, go in there, and you got to sort of be gentle. If you press it too much, it's going to probably break off. You just gently press it in, and then gently pull on the wire. If you pull on the wire too much, uh, it probably will just break off. Um, so depending upon which one you're pulling, it probably doesn't make much difference, because uh, we're going to re-solder these anyway. So here it is finished. I've got the one plastic uh, connector off. and. Uh, uh, showing you how we're going to use it to connect to the power supply. So I'm going to cut that plug off and then solder some connections here. Here I'm removing uh, the pins uh, from the other side. So um, we're basically going to connect it just with two wires. The uh, um, Here I'm cutting off the extra uh, connectors. Um, and uh, see here what goes on okay um, here what I'm doing is I'm just checking the the uh, continuity of or I'm, I'm uh, just checking the uh, the polarity of the fan um, I'm uh, gonna connect this up the the power supply is plugged in and I'm gonna just connect up the fan temporarily using some alligator clips in order to see that uh, I've got it you know I've, I've got it right I mean basically it's pretty easy the red is the plus and the black is the minus. Uh, but I just uh, thought I'd just make sure that the fan worked with the power supply and this would be the first step. And I was a little concerned here because it didn't come right on but there was a loose connection where I was uh, uh, connecting. But uh, we get some sparks of life here and we prove to ourselves that the power supply is going to drive the fan. It's a 1,000 uh, milliamp power supply should be plenty. Um, uh, here's where I'm cutting the, uh, I've, I've disconnected the power supply from the wall and I'm cutting off the end of the, uh, the connector that came with the power supply. Using a razor blade I'm going to remove some of the insulation, the outermost black insulation from the uh, wires and um, uh, I'm going to uh, strip these uh, these wires just with my thumbnail actually the the insulation was was soft enough where I just could get my thumbnail into it and drag it across if you use a, a knife or something sometimes it can um, it can uh, cut it there what I did is prove to myself that the, the the outside jacket of that was the black wire which is traditional um, but I just did a little continuity test there and here what I'm doing is uh, uh, stripping the the uh, wire connected to the power supply. Um, again, I will be removing the outer jacket. This is just removing the outer jacket here at about an inch or so, or less, probably using a razor blade. And uh, and then I'm using my fingernails again, once again, to just uh, just uh, strip off the insulation to, to each of the two inside wires which again like pretty soft uh, I don't use a knife if I can help it because that will cut right through the copper and that's not, you know then you have fewer strands to solder so I've got the two the red and the black um, uh, stripped and now I'm gonna remove the um, the uh, pins that I'm gonna reuse um, oh actually here I'm doing the stripping with my thumbnail now I'm gonna um, uh, Oh well, still stripping, I guess. Um, but next, I'm going to uh, remove the uh, 
the existing wires from these pins that I'm going to reuse. These are the female side. And uh, first I tried to do it with my hand and then I decided, ah, pliers. So once I get the pliers on it and give it a good yank and jiggle, it uh, comes off. And uh, these are um, going to be reused shortly. I'm going to slide those, those wires in that I was just preparing. Okay, I'm uh, twisting the red wire and I'm inserting it into one of the pins just through the opening there. There's a crimp opening and then there's a place where you can sort of solder and uh, trying to get that uh, through the little opening um, and here I'm crimping it so that not not so much just basically so that I can solder it without it moving and I will rest it down and uh, put the soldering iron on it here and get a little uh, little uh, solder to melt into on, on the uh, the pin as well as the copper wire just uh, takes a second and uh, then I'm going to do the same with the black just uh, twisting it preparing it inserting it into the pin and going ahead uh, crimping and finally going ahead and doing the little bit of soldering here and uh, next we'll be inserting these um, these two reused pins into the connector the extra connector that we got um, what I'm doing here is is I want to make sure that I you know plug the red into the red and the black into black oh here I'm spreading out those ears remember we pressed those in when we had to remove them from the plastic this is where you really got to be careful if you bend them too much they will definitely break off on you so just very gingerly just till it comes outside the the housing um, and then uh, now I'm making sure that I'm lining up the red to the red and the black to the black uh, sn uh, snapping this in with the I uh, got a little th that's a tiny screwdriver by the way just uh, like a like a uh, jeweler's screwdriver or whatever you call it just a very small small screwdriver so uh, if you have one of those that would be awesome to uh, to do this job so uh, once those two are in there, then, um, then we're pretty much ready to try it out. So uh, I plug it in here, and uh, I reach over and plug it into the wall, and we should see, yes, success. So that's the first part of our stir plate. We'll be mounting magnets and uh, showing this plate later.